Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Joe, where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today, I have a really fun, honest review of the Fellow Move Carter and the Mora Ceramic Mug. Why are these ones here? Well, it's because I used to use these mugs and I no longer like them. And I kind of not like them for a little while because they're all stainless steel and there's other drawbacks to them, but mostly because there's no ceramic used and they leach flavor. So let's just get them out of the way. All right, so for these ones, let me quickly show you a video of my morning commute comparing both these cups. Okay, we have the Fellow on the left and the Mora on the right. They started at around the same temperature, but as soon as you put coffee in it, the Fellow is at 176 and the Mora dropped significantly at 159. So it does sap heat right at the start. Luckily, they both fit into my Tesla perfectly. And at 20 minutes, it looks like the Fellow is at 165 degrees and the Mora is at 137. Enjoy those first sips. All right, at 30 minutes roughly, the Fellow is at 156 degrees and the Mora is at 129. Now I've arrived at my office at around 30 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that into the bag and walk in. I get into the office about 30 minutes later and we are gonna measure it out and the Mora is at 105 and the Fellow is at 100. Okay, we're back. You got to see my daily commute. I'm gonna show you all the temperatures going from the start to the finish on the screen. The Mora started a little bit cooler, obviously. It sapped a lot of temperature out of the mug at 159 degrees to start versus the Fellow at 176. Now, obviously, at the end, this still had a lot more heat in it and it only lost 43 degrees versus 54 on the Mora. Now, I think there's a couple of reasons, and I don't think temperature is the only thing you should consider when you're deciding on a mug. The one thing you should think about is like, do you like sipping coffee out of it? I will say that this, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the Mora ceramic uh, lid here. It is, you know, the silicone piece, it just doesn't feel great to me. It's kind of plasticky, and I don't think it actually helps that much in retaining heat. So on the fellow, you have the metal sides and you have a ceramic inside. So you will be sipping off of the side of some metal, which I'm not a big fan of. I wish they would have went with the ceramic coating that Mori used, but I will say because of this little piece on the inside, it does make for a pretty enjoyable sipping experience. It just slowly lets the coffee out and you don't have like, you know, scalding hot coffee on you. It does a pretty good job of reducing the heat right on your lips. The other thing too is obviously it is a splash guard. So if you're hitting a bump or jumping around, you will, you won't have, you know, coffee flying everywhere. It does a pretty good job of making sure that it doesn't, you know, splash everywhere. Now, the other thing that is sort of not talked about you know, on this mug and that they probably should have mentioned is that when you have the splash guard in, it actually does retain a little bit more heat. So you can keep that in there and just casually sip. And as you saw on my video, I didn't have this on. I didn't really keep this on the whole time. As soon as I got in the car, I really had this off like the whole entire time. I put it back in to walk into, the, into my office, which maybe takes me five minutes. And then, you know, 30 minutes later, I was still left with a really hot cup of coffee and it, like I said, the lid was off. So if you leave this lid on, you could probably have piping hot coffee in here for like eight hours. The Mora mug just is not gonna offer you that. But like I said, it is fully ceramic. So if you really like the feeling of like a hot cup with your hands on it and you know, the sipping experience that you get from a mug, like a traditional ceramic mug, there is something about that when you, you know, put your mouth up to it and you sip off of this versus a sharp metal side. There is something that feels better about this mug. But at the end of the day, I have to pick the winners and the losers here. Although the Mora Ceramic Mug does not leach flavors, and it is a very beautiful mug, it comes in plenty of different colors and options, and I like the little sparkly look it has with the, with the brown tone on the bottom. 
and it you know is much better than the other mugs I mentioned earlier. I do have this feel, I just like this mug more because I am a very slow sipper. It takes me about an hour to drink a cup of coffee. And by the end on this one, if you did not preheat it, like I showed, it saps a lot of temperature out of it, like 20 degrees right off the bat. If you didn't preheat this, you're gonna have a pretty cold cup of coffee after an hour. 100 degrees is not very warm to be drinking coffee. You're probably sitting, you know, a, a good drinking temperature, probably anything below 120 degrees is gonna start to kind of be lukewarm and not that great. 130 to 150, 145, something like that is a really good drinking temperature. And you can basically get that the entire time on this. So although it doesn't give you that feeling of a warm cup in your hand, I do like this one more just because I sip super slow. So this is the mug I'm gonna go with, but I think you should maybe consider both. I'll leave the links in the description to both of them. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.